Hey guys, what is going on? It is Debogi here once again, and it is time for a Maple Monday. It is August 6th, 2012, and like always, a glorious Monday it is. I want to say happy Monday, guys, and I hope you guys are excited for this Maple Monday. We're going to go ahead and go through a couple topics today, and hopefully that we'll discover some new things. So before we get into the topics, um, I want to go ahead and go through one Maple Monday submission that was sent to me, and I wanted to ask you guys what your guys' best inner ability you guys got so far. Send me your screen shots because this person he got a pretty good one I thought I've never seen it before it's plus 16 all stats so that was pretty impressive and I was really glad that I saw a great inner ability um, because I've been getting some pretty bad ones lately and inner abilities guys is for GMS at the moment it's that Aswan PQ if you guys don't know what it is I talked about it briefly in my last Maple Monday and it's this new thing that you can unlock I guess by doing the Aswan PQ so it's pretty cool but this person got plus 16 all stats so I thought that was pretty impressive but I wanted to hear what you guys got so definitely leave them in the comments below um, some of the inner abilities you guys got because that'd be pretty cool to find out some of the different ones because I've only seen like plus four uh, plus one percent just stuff like that so yeah definitely leave that in the comment section below so now the next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is uh, something that's been happening in EMS a lot of you guys have been sending me a lot of videos a lot of stuff in my inbox my inbox has just been going crazy with your guys' uh, requests on talking about this EMS glitch thing that's happening at the moment. Now, I don't usually talk about EMS, but now it is time to talk about EMS because something crazy is happening, right? And EMS, you guys are, uh, I guess you guys are having a little problem right now because apparently all you guys are leveling up to 200 in about like a couple of minutes. I saw Copper Sam posting some stuff on it as well. Um, but yeah, there is some big problems happening in EMS at the moment. Leveling up to 200 in a couple minutes is a big problem. I mean, I know we've been nerfed quite a bit and it's been easier to level up to 200 these days but I mean leveling up to in minutes to 200 that's a problem so I've been seeing a lot of stuff happening and I I guess you type in a certain code in the chat box and you I think you can only do it with Mercedes and you get like 10 levels every time you type in this thing and I, I don't really want to research it too much I'm not interested in myself um, but I mean you guys out there that are doing it I guess you beat Maple Story. I, I gotta say, guys, it's, it's kind of interesting that um, EMS has been letting this go on for as long as it has because apparently it's been going on for quite a bit now, uh, quite a while. So I mean, they really need to just shut the game down and fix this up because what's the point in playing Maple Story if you just level up in like 10 minutes <laughs> to 200? Um, I mean, it's cool that we can all achieve 200. I think that they really took 200 to like whole another level. No pun intended, because um, used to it's like a huge achievement, but now it's just like a joke. People want to stay at like level 199 now because it's like 200 is just overrated. And that really sucks because 200 used to be a great achievement, but now it's just like something to laugh at. Getting it in a couple minutes. <laughs> in GMS, you guys probably heard Mutiny, I think that's what it's called, is coming out. The new big patch. Um, it's finally that thing we're waiting for, it's the Pirate Revamp, so Corsairs and Buccaneers have been changed up like crazy. Um, no longer do we have a boat, we have, I guess, a huge octopus that shoots a lot of guns for Corsairs, and Buccaneers, you guys got the crazy transformation falling guys around, so that is something we can look forward to. But not only that, guys, the Dual Bladers get revamped once again, and that is right, some new skills as well as some tweaks and changes ups on those dual blades so definitely guys look forward to that um i think it's gonna be pretty cool i mean I, i've been reading some of the patch update notes and it seems like we're gonna be seeing some awesome events some good quests that are gonna be coming up um i really like to see those nice events happening so that's always something to look forward to i really want to see guys a new archer class you know an archer class would be really awesome right now um i, I think that they, they're not <laughs> Like Mercedes, I don't really feel like it was an archer. Like, yes, sure, Wild Hunter, it was kind of an archer. I mean, you're riding a glitchy Jaguar for all we care. Um, but I, I want like just a pure archer class that uses a, a bow and arrow, you know? <laughs> like, I want to see Legless on there once again. Um, but yeah, so we're looking, I hopefully we'll look forward to that because they have released a mage class, the Luminous, Kaiser class, the Warrior, as well as a new Pirate class, the Angelic Buster, or Burster. Is it Burster? I think it's Burster, but I do want to see an Archer class. That would be something that we could look forward to. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I would really want to see one. Now to tie up this Mabel Monday, I want to go ahead and talk about something that you guys haven't asked me a lot lately. Um, you guys haven't asked me like, Tabuki, why do people hate the new classes so much? Every time a new class comes out, you always see that comment, this is why I quit MapleStory. Do we see anything more flashier? 
OP much, stuff like that, and just a lot of hate that goes around with the new classes. I mean, people don't really appreciate, it seems like, the new classes that come out. Um, it's that thing, though, I feel like, that it's like school, you know, when that new kid comes into school. It sometimes feels a little hate because they, they bring in new stuff, new culture with them. They're dressing a little bit differently. They got baggier clothes on or they have maybe more like a collar pop collar. And they're kind of like coming in all like blingy out. And the thing is like, it's the new thing, right? It's something that we're not used to in Maple Story. It's like the new kid that comes into school. We're not really used to that new kid. And um, we're, we're kind of like all judging and we're all seeing like what does this person have to offer but after a while it just kind of blends in and mingles in into Maple Story and just like hey it's just another class it seems like we always like old things I mean even though we want newer things better things faster things I'm mean, gonna tell you guys the truth I think almost all of us miss the old Maple Story that played it right like we're always referring back to old Maple how good it used to be how awesome it was and the thing is like if we had old Maple still I think we would still be complaining because we're never satisfied we'll be like why why can't they just change up Maple Story after all these years of playing it? It's still the same thing. Come on, you know, change it up a little bit. And they did make a big, lot of big changes. And I feel like we just aren't satisfied of what we have. We always want old things. We want newer things. We want less OP things. We want more balanced things. And we just like, we need to make up our minds sometimes. I mean, I'm like that all the time. I just want it to be balanced. I want it to be like the old, but then I want newer things. And I like flashes. I think it's just something that we had to get used to is that the newer things that come in, as long as they haven't completely forgotten about the old adventure classes, I think we'll be fine because old adventure classes are, are getting buffed up still. I mean, I feel like some of their decisions that they made Nexon, on Nexon's part about making the classes and what kind of skills they get and how much damage we can do and all the exploits and stuff like that, I think they could have done just a little bit of a better job. But nonetheless, it's still fun and I hope you guys are still enjoying it. And uh, yeah, guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Dabogi. Have a great week. Enjoy Monday, enjoy the week, and we'll be seeing you guys later.